So.
一心，我的心孝心，我的心好心，我的心美心。苦心、迷心、寒心、苦心、灰心，苦心、迷心、寒心、苦心、灰心，我的心，我的心，我的心，我的心，我的心，我的心。
please join us for a post-performance Q&A with the company if you have um, an opportunity to hear a little bit about the uh, work that they've created and the history of the group. Thank you. Well, thank you. It was a really beautiful performance and um, we really appreciate it. And I just wondered if you could tell us a little bit about, I mean, what's amazing is your company is so young and your form is so old. Um, and you have reimagined it. So I just wondered if you could say a little bit about how you came to create this piece. Yeah. So let me just introduce a bit about Nanning music to you. I'm sure you've seen it in the brochure that Asia Society has given out. But yeah, Nanning is a very old traditional type of Chinese music. It actually has two thousand years of history. It dates all the way back all the way back to the Han dynasty. Um so for a young group of musicians to be playing this kind of music, I think anywhere would be a shock to many people because they would think that something so slow and zen-like and calm may not appeal to the youngsters nowadays. So I think we will start off first with um, our artistic director, Mr. Lin. He'll be explaining a little bit about the, what Soul Journey is about. So... Hmm. This, uh, 它是一个非常古老Okay, basically he's saying that <coughs> Nying is a very uh, ancient kind of music. Uh, it's pretty slow, uh, but very soothing. And um, there's, but all in all, there's still some distance between the ancient music and our present life. So he has to think of some ways to find the language that can appeal to the present audience. 那么加上这个现代都市的人，啊，都生活在比较匆忙、比较烦躁的一个呃心境。Okay, most of us are living in a very hectic, uh, pace of life at the moment. So, uh, he's trying to find some ways to sort of bring us back to a slower pace. 呃，蓝音具备了这个啊，可以舒缓。Okay, this is where he thinks that Nying can come in because it's um you know it can bring you to that state of mind where uh, you find a little bit more peace, you know. 所以呢, 我们就, 呃, 引用了这种方式呢, 来抵触我们这个都市人, so basically, you know, he's trying to find some ways to uh, bring us back, you know, to a, a slower state of mind. Okay. Oh, can I tell you something? So, why is it that he creates this kind of music? Hmm. So, this Nanyin from this Chinese Minnan region, is related to a hundred years ago. 的移民潮来到新加坡打工的时候呢，他把这个南音艺术带到了新加坡。Okay，so uh for the Nanyin in Singapore, it started about uh nearly two hundred years back. It's more than a hundred years back. Uh, it came over together with the immigrants from Fujian, from the southern part of China. Okay.那么在这个一百多年的这个发展过程中呢？ 有起有落 
Okay, over the 100 years of uh, development, there are ups and downs for Nanying. Uh, it's not always, you know, um, at this present state. 但是呢,南音还是集中在闽南人,就是福建人的这一块. Okay, for most of the time, Nanying is, um, you know, it's just within the community of the Fujian people, the, the Hokkien people. You know? 也就是比较少众. Yeah, so um, it's not a, it's not a kind of art that has a mass appeal. You know, uh, it's more of um, an intimate, comfortable, uh, small community kind of work. 那么为了进一步的这个推广南音，把这个南音介绍给更多人认识呢，那么我们利用新加坡的这个优势，就是新加坡是一个多元种族跟多元文化的国度。Okay, so for the piece of work that he created, he tried to infuse a certain elements of the the environment that we are living in. Okay, in Singapore, it is a multiracial, multicultural uh, community, a society with all kinds of different cultures. So um, we try to infuse certain elements, uh, you know, elements of, uh, no, sorry, yeah, the art of other little communities uh, to bring it into Nani itself. Yeah. 所以呢,我们今晚表演的,你们也有看到,我们有用到这个印度的塔布拉,我们有用到多元的乐器。融合在南音里面，希望透过这个不同的一种南音表现风格，然后呈现给大家，让大家感受一种具有新加坡风格的一种南音表演形态。Okay, you may have noticed that we have added the tabla and some other. Sometimes we do use the kampong, kampong as well, which is a Malay instrument. Yeah. But for tonight. We have the Indian instrument, the tabla. So uh, that is something that you know um, can only happen in Singapore because uh, we come from this backdrop of a multiracial society. So um, okay, the, for that piece itself, it is uh, they use this the clappers of the nining itself, but they try to infuse it with some other little instruments. Okay, mm -hmm. maybe. Okay, Can you say something more. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. Good evening. Uh, I'm actually the composer for Nanning. My job is pretty simple. It's just uh, to modify the original song so that we can attract more youngsters to like the songs. So uh, what I started with, we go through the traditional pieces and we try to find so-called the hook of the, of the piece. You know, as we, we, in, the, in the pop industry, we usually look for hook, right? So I look for a, a simple hook that we can get from the traditional pieces. Then we start to improvise it by uh, different techniques. For example, we try to increase the range of the instruments. We try to match it with different kind of instruments. We can uh, use the call and response technique and various kind of the melody techniques to, to improvise and so that we can uh, attract the, the young ones to, to uh, appreciate Nanying in the first place. So were you a composer first or a Nanyin musician first? I am a composer first, and I appreciate Nanyin, and I soon become addicted to it. <laughs> That's how I, I'm, I'm here today. Yeah. yeah, and one more question. Um, it's interesting because you described a process. That's so right. there's a certain kind of interaction with, with the other musicians to create certainly. the piece. Is that true? Yeah, certainly. I mean, uh, we have a group of uh, uh, like these very cute young girls over here. We have a group of students. We started uh, when they were all students. And uh, it's, it's actually a difficult job because to bring them into this community and to learn something which is so ancient, comparing to what they have today is with heavy drum beats and, you know, uh, bass, uh, heavy electric guitars. So it's, uh, it's a difficult job to make them uh, calm down and start to understand and appreciate arts in the first place. And, and did they calm down? Yeah. They seem to calm down when they're on stage. <laughs> <laughs> so is this drum traditional for this form? No, it's no. not traditional. Okay. This, this is more like a Chinese uh, yeah, orchestra yeah. kind of instrument. So, so there are some instruments that would be part of Nanyin, 
And yes. then there are some instruments that, in fact, you have added in yes, because sir. you felt there was a, a resonance. Yes. There are actually uh, se several main instruments. Maybe, uh, Mingyi, you want to try to explain? Actually, the nanning instruments that you've seen just now are only the four that you see in the front. So for the last one, the four that you see and the uh, Ling Lao Shi in the center, we actually have four main instruments. So the Pi Pa, the San Xian, the Tong Xiao, which is the flute, and then the Er Xian. So these are the four main nanning instruments and the only four nanning instruments we have. The others will be percussion instruments, which we didn't use all of them today. We have five. One you saw was the clappers, which is called the pai pan. And we also used the si bao, which was the one with the Indian tabla. So we all used, it's called si bao, four treasures. They are four separate pieces of bamboo clappers. Yep. They're fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> I love those clappers. Yeah. Is it hard to play? Um, it is challenging, especially the one that you have to vibrate them together really yeah. quick to make a cicada-like sound. It's so Yeah, that great. one is quite challenging. Um, I think to really get learn how to do it properly would at least take a few months for someone. Yeah. Um, two more questions, and I'm sorry because they're going to be loading out. We don't have time to open it up to all of you, which we ordinarily would do. But, but I have to ask you, the text that's used, yes. where is that text from? Okay, actually when he when he uh uh 刚才大家所看到的那个除了那个人生百态的那个字幕之外，那么其他的那些每一个幕的前面都有几行英文字，对吗？那个呢，就是要表现接下来这个节目的一种意境。Okay, so when he conceptualized the whole the different uh segments, okay, so he put them down in words. Uh, one part of it, the awakening, is actually a song that was composed by Mr. Ting Martin, who was a former chairman of the group. So it was actually the uh, lyrics of that song. Okay. Did he say, though, were some of the others from an older yes. other text? The other words are actually just for the audience to kind of get into the mood. So the lines that you see are actually the context of how... The song is what the song is supposed to be about. What the song is supposed to bring you through. Yeah. I, I guess the whole uh, presentation is talks about uh, soul journey, so uh, it, it actually in, it has a little bit of Zen uh, uh, in it. So it's actually a, a process of thinking when you when you face your surrounding and you start to face some problems in your life, then you start to get some hints. Probably the first song is about the Bodhisattva. So you get some information from the Bodhisattva, then you start to look back into your own self and start to understand what is happening inside. So that is the whole process of the soul journey, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So one last question. Um, what do you think the future of Nanyin in Singapore is? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I like that too. In, this re in these recent years, we've actually gotten a lot of younger musicians to join the group. So, of course, the younger generation is our future. If we don't continue passing down this art form, then eventually, of course, it will die out. So what we've been trying to do is something like this. We've been trying to infuse nan traditional nanning with other elements to make it more appealing to the younger audience today. But that is also, although we are getting receptive responses from the public, the younger public, it is also a challenge for us because they come in to our group expecting fusion. Uh -huh. So because, you know, the first thing that they see is fusion. So when they come in, they think that, oh, this is traditional nanning. But it, it actually is not. So when they come and they learn the traditional nanning, it is quite a shock to some of them. They didn't expect it to be like this. Like the last one, the last program that you saw, 
that is traditional. For the first two pieces without anything else, only the four instruments, that is fully traditional. And it is quite hard for some of the youngsters nowadays to take. And how about for you? Well, for me, um, because I've been with the group for quite a while now, I actually I joined when I was 10, so I've been with the group for about 10 years. Yeah. I initially also didn't like nanning music because you know for a 10 year old to sit down and play that kind of music you know what I mean it's diff it was very difficult for me um, but I stayed on with the group because um, my mom was actually a very good friend of the cha uh, vice chairman so I kind of was like forced to go every week you know for practices but when I was about in my early teenage years maybe 14 to 15 you know it's during that time that you actually get the most frustration of with friends or what, with whatever's going on in your life. So I actually used nanning as a way to vent some of the frustration and the sadness that I had that I wasn't able to write on paper or tell other people. So it became an outlet for me. And I think through this outlet, I came to love this music very, very much. And that's why I stayed, un stayed on until today. Well, that is the way to end because I, I think all of us also came to love this music mm -hmm. and um, it was so. a beautiful performance. Thank you very much. We wish you all the best. Thank, Thank you, you so much for, for bringing it here. Thank and you guys for inviting us over to perform. We were all very excited. Thank you very much. Well, yeah. Thank you. a big hand. Thank you all very much. We hope you enjoyed the performance. Thank you all for coming, and if you haven't seen the exhibition, I do hope that you will um, come back to the Asia Society and see it. It's up till June 4th. And another big hand for the group for Soul Journey. Thank you very much.